What's up, everybody? It's Mr. Hansen at... I'm going to figure this out one of these days. Mr. Hansen 404. And today, we're coming with air... Geometry lesson 2.3 in the, your guys' book on rotations. Rotations. Um, so, I, you know, rotations, it's, it's another part of our transformation unit. And, you know, I like to think of rotations in terms of spinning around something, in terms of revolutions, in terms of orbit. Um, before we get too deep, I just want to say, you know, thank you guys for rocking with the channel. You see, I got this new mic we upgraded out here. Um, we're super, super, super close to 300 subs, 300, um, and I had a good talk, so probably going to be getting some, some ideas for an intro going and a, a potentially a logo and, and maybe a little bit of merch, do some giveaway stuff soon, so that'll be cool. Anyways, let's get started. All right, so we're here, and this is what you guys should be looking at right about now, um, Rotation. So, you know, the, the big question, we always start with that, is how do you draw the image of a figure under a rotation? So we'll make sure we can answer that before we're done here. Now, I think this is kind of weird, not having things. So I'm going to drop a link so you guys can play with Desmos the way that I'm going to play with Desmos. And I'm going to do that in just a little bit because over here, you know, it, it walks you through. And I'm going to let you guys do this construction. It is really simple to follow. Um, Desmos is my preferred app. So, uh, I'm gonna let you guys do that. And then after you do that, I just want you guys to be able to, to realize, you know, that the, the measure is going to be 90 degrees no matter what. And I'm going to show you, I'm going to get a little video clip in here to show you guys that. And then, um, the distance, the distance from A to P and the distance from A prime to P is always going to be the same because you are rotating around a fixed point. Um, so make sure that you know that. So let's take a look and let's, let's see where we're going. And then I'll get you guys onto this rotation stuff. A couple of things to think about here. Um, a point and its image are both the same distance from the center of rotation. We've got some vocab coming up, so be ready for that. Um, and then, you know, you guys know me, I'm, I'm a, I'm a software person. I think the hand stuff's a little outdated to be honest. Um, but, you know, the software just makes it easier to do it and you don't have to worry about drawing everything. So we got some vocabulary that we're going to start mixing in and we got rotations and center rotations and angle, angle of rotations. So let's test these out as we're getting into this Desmos activity real quick. So here we go. Um, let me move my, myself. Um, here we go. So Desmos, guys, it's amazing. If you're a math teacher, use Desmos. If you're not a math teacher and you have a math class, tell your teacher to use Desmos. There's activities. There's just the free stuff. It's literally amazing. I've been using it since I've been in the teaching game. So I love it. I love it. I love it. So we have a couple things to talk about here. And we have this thing called degree of rotation. In this uh, image, we have let's see if I can show you guys. the original object and the new object, the new figure. So we have the pre-image and image. We'll continue to use that verbiage. We have our center of rotation, which is a point. Um, and in this case, it's currently set to the origin, zero, zero. I'm gonna, I'll put the sliders back in so I can move it around. The center of rotation, if we page back to our book real quick, um, is, well, that doesn't really give a good answer, but the, basically the center of rotation is the point around which you are going to rotate around. So in my brain, I see that as the sun and we're the earth, or I see that as the earth for the moon, um, the center of rotation. So let's let's test it out. So currently it's set, it's showing a degree of rotation of 180. So I'll go through all the basics. Um, what if we put a 90 degree? Actually, let's put a zero degree first. Well, zero degree obviously is sitting on top of it. So what if we go 30 degrees. Notice the direction. If we go 60 degrees, notice the orientation. What if we went 90 degrees? What if we went 180 degrees? You see how it went across? It's like a straight line between the two. 
But if we went 270 degrees, where do you guys think this will end up? Q1. Notice, compared to translations and reflections, the Orion, or, uh, or, the, 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 how do I want to word this? The way you see the shape is just a little different, right? Um, so we have that. And obviously, if you go the full 360, you'll end up back where you started. It's seen there. Let me change this back to M and N, so I can get some dragon going on, some fire. Um, so what if I put it? What if I put it on the point, pretty much, right? What do you think will happen? So this is why I love math. It's just you're really just playing around, trying to find patterns. What do you think is gonna happen? If I make it 180, Ooh. what if I make it 270? Oh, not a thousand, 270. What if I make it 270? What if I make it 350? So pay attention to how this thing moves around the center or uh, rotation. What if I put it kind of, oh, that's not what I want to do. It's not what I want to do. If I put it over here at, I mean, it's close to 5.5, five, right? Uh, what if I go 15 degrees? What if I go 30 degrees? So it doesn't really look like it's moving so much. What if I go 60? Suddenly, it's starting to swing around. If I go to 90, do you guys think you'll be able to see it if I go 180? Yes. Let's see how, how far I went. And notice the distance between the two. It should be equidistant. 270. Can't, can't see 270. 330. So, I'll drop this link. Uh, otherwise, you can see it. It's in there. Calculator. Kahui 3J, 3J60. It's always the Google that's most rotation about a point so that's there now we have rotation center rotation angle of rotation the transformation is the rotation that's what we're doing the center of rotation is the point that you are rotating around and the angle of rotation is the angle with vertex p formed by a point and its image so the point and the image will make an angle and it's going to be the same uh, now they're doing this with protractors. Personally, I'm just not. I'm not digging that vibe right now. Um, maybe we'll do that later. But if you happen to have it, or you want to pull a digital one out, so you see, there's the point. So what they got to do is take a look and make a uh, rotation of 150 degrees. So to make that happen, what they do is they line up the protractor at the point and line it up with the pre-image and sketch the angle such that they are going to move along you can see it here so they sketch it out a prime will be there so a prime will be there and the whole entire shape is going to rotate on over imagine putting like like you know how you have like a bike wheel and you have um those little blinky thingies couldn't have those those always got stolen um it's going to move around so they are doing that and they are moving each individual point so they're moving a b and c to a prime b prime c prime is transforming by rotation and you can see that a prime is there b is over here and c and c prime is over here now notice it's it's not quite as easy to track as for me personally as translations and uh reflections so if you'd like to give it a shot you'd get your protractor out you'd figure out the angle from there to there at 75 degrees follow the same steps but I don't really mess with that stuff so I'm not messing with it right now uh, tracing paper so this comes up we don't really use it but how how could you use it um, so you can use it to check your construction that's what we call when we, we construct when we create these uh, you can trace the figure you can place a pencil on a P and rotate the paper for the angle of rotation um, so this one, if you if you ended up doing it, it would it would look something like so. You got your little line, and again, guys, you know I don't like making straight lines on here. It's it's, it's not my not my strong suit. Um, got our angle. So if you did this, this would be your angle, and this would be your D prime, right? So then you got to relocate E prime. You got to relocate F prime because it went. For a ride, it got rotated. All right. 
So you got a shot at doing these if you like. Um, this is our third transformation, so make sure you're paying attention to the differences. You know, you got uh, rigid motion, and you have this, you know, they use different shapes to do the translations, whether it's a vector or it's a line or it's a point. And, um, you know, thinking about how it, it, the, the orientation, how it looks, it can change. So I'd say if you feel like you need a more concrete example, then what I would do is I would do my best to actually, let me pause real quick. So I decided that we'll, we'll do that in class and that maybe I'll record the activity and post it separately. So let's just go to explain two. We have the topic of drawing rotations on a coordinate plane. Now I'm, you know, I'm, you guys know I'm, I'm a little biased. I don't love, I don't, I just don't love it. I don't love geometry. Um, so if you're feeling like you're struggling, I, I feel you because I got to work real hard to figure this stuff out too. So we're in this together. Um, so the first, the way that this book tends to do things is it gives us a, uh, a visual, a conceptual understanding. And then we go a little further and build out into these rules and methods to, to perform the work a little quickly. But it is really important to make sure that we understand how it looks. Because if you can't visualize it, again, I'll say it again, you're, you're pretty useless uh, when it comes to being able to describe and understand things. So, um, you can rotate a figure on more than 180 degrees, yeah. This diagram is showing what happens if you go 120 degrees, 240 degrees, 300 degrees. Notice the different rotations. Each one goes a little further. When no direction is specified, I would definitely this down if people if people trip this up. You can assume that it is counterclockwise. So the clock, and again, the reflection might be weird here, but the clock goes like this. So you're going to counter. Um, and a counterclockwise rotation is the same. If you do 360 degrees minus X, great way to make sure that you're going the right direction. Your rules, I know we, we love rules. I personally hate rules in general. Um, and so know what these are, a 90 degree rotation, counterclockwise, CC, that's also, we write that as counterclockwise, CCW, not to be confused with the other one. Um, we got a rule, so 90 degree rotation, switch spots of X and Y, and make the Y negative. 180, just make them both negative. 270, make, keep the Y positive, make the X negative, and 360, you end up where you were to start. It all comes full circle. It really does. Okay, so you got your rules. Hopefully you take a second, pause. If you need to pause, write, rewind, and repeat. Shout out to OG Hanson here for that one. Um, that's what you gotta do. So make sure you make that happen. We have a quadrilateral. You're gonna draw the image under the given rotation, which ties back to our central question. So this is really why you're here today. Um, on this channel and if you're not subscribed yet hit that right now hit that right now so you're going to find the coordinates of the vertices of the image so you find the vertices you have the shape right because you can just play connect the dots all day so it tells you what the rotation is it's y comma negative x which if you go look at the rules that is a 270 degree rotation clockwise so 270 CCW. So we're going to go this way, right? We're going to go this way. And we're going to go 270, which is essentially three quadrants of rotation. So it tells you what the coordinates would be because you can just plug them in and figure that out. So we go from 0, 2 to 2, 0 for your A prime. You might not be able to see these that good, but we'll figure it out. B, 1, 4 to 4, negative 1. C, 2, negative 4, D to D prime, 1, negative 3. It's a little tight. Play connect the dots, and voila, it's gone. It went over here, to here, to the 270 rotation. So, uh, I really like the word predict in general. I mean, you can predict behaviors, you can predict 
climate, you can predict weather, you can predict the stock market, you can predict sports. And if you become good at predictions, you can figure out life and make money, honestly. Um, so, predict the quadrant in which the image will lie. So, where does it start? Where will it go? Well, we know that because it's a 270 degree rotation, that it would go to here for the 90, to here for the 180, to here for the 270. Boom. So you got a, a, a your turn. So this is a great opportunity for you to pause the video, try and rotate this triangle KLM. And you're back. Thanks. Because you did pause, right? And if you didn't do it now and rewind, and then come back. I know you did it now. So let's go. Uh, so 180 degree rotation tells you to flip the coordinates, right? Negative. Sorry, not flip. Opposites. Negative X, negative Y. So positive 2 is now a negative 2 and a Negative one is not positive one. So I'll do that for all of them. Beautiful. And predict the quadrant in which the image will lie. Well, I know if I would do a 90 degree rotation, I would end up here in quadrant one. I'm going to do 180. So I'm guessing that I'm going to go in quadrant dos. That is my guess. So started in four, quadrant four, and you can use Roman numerals, obviously. Um, Plot your points and see what happens. Negative 2, 1, K prime. Negative 4, 1, L prime. Let's drop those labels. And, uh, yep, negative 1, 4. Sorry, got my brain got stuck for a second. M prime. Shape that thing. Boom. A little skinny on that side, but it is what it is. Um, there's your image. We rotated. We got this. Uh, so you got a question. Suppose you rotate a quadrilateral by 810 now. Here's the thing. My generation, we benefited from playing Tony Hawk Pro Skater and learning all these crazy rotations that you do when you do tricks, uh, like the 720 and the 980. I think 980. No, 1080. 1080. Um, they did drop that new game. I haven't played it, but if someone wants to send me one, if you're listening... Activision, whoever owns you, Tony Hawk, send me that game. I'll play it. I'll stream it. Um, so you can predict it because a 360 is the full rotation. 360 is the full rotation. So two 360s is going to add up to 720. So I'm thinking out loud here. 720 degrees. So I can go 810 minus 720, which is going to be 90 degrees. So really, I'm only rotating 90 degrees. Um, so in part A, where's part A? So here, if we went 90 degrees, we'd end up in quadrant two. We'd end up over here. So just use your brain, guys. Big brain energy. All right, let's keep rolling. You got a year turn. So here's another opportunity. Pause, please, please. And I did get some feedback in class that you guys wanted me to go over things a little more, a little more problems. So I'll do that. Um, Make sure that you guys are using your prime marks to label the image so we can tell the difference. Now here, we have a triangle PQR and it's going to be rotate 90 degrees. So predict where it'll end up. Well, it's going to go this way. So it should end up some, somewhere over here, right? And I can easily take these coordinates. So I can say P, Q, and R. And I can write what they are. And I can write what uh, P prime, Q prime, R prime is, right? So I'm not going to write those down. I'm going to say them though so you can listen. I got P prime at negative 1, 2. I've got Q prime at negative 1, 4. And I've got R prime at 3, 4. Optimus prime. Bam, bam, bam. Rotation. Got a quadrilateral. DFG. Throw a, I almost look like DraftKings. Got my first option win. That was actually significant. Well, a little significant, like 20% gain, a little less. We're going 270. So 90 to 180 to 270 is going to end up over there. Don't get tripped out. Following, I would find the rule for 270, and I'm going to be honest, I quickly forgot. So I'm going to quickly check my notes. 270 rotation, you swap them and make the x negative so we're going to go to y comma negative x so i would personally probably write my rule down for every single one uh so i don't 
get confused. I got so much stuff in my brain, I'm going to make a mistake. And that's probably how you feel too. So, if I found out that D was actually negative 3, so let me write that this one out, negative 3 comma 1, and this is my X and this is my Y, D prime would have to be 1, 3. 1, 3. D prime. That's all you got to do. So I would write out my current vertices and then apply the transformation rule and you'll be good to go. You dig? Awesome. So for the rest of them, uh, super speed E would be, E prime would be 1, negative 1, 1. F prime would be no, negative 4, 1. And G prime would be negative 3, 2. Boom, 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 boom. Quadrilateral rotated 270 degrees counterclockwise. All right, I'm going to take a quick breath. I recommend that you do the same. Go drink some water. I got some Gatorade. Uh, go do that real quick. So I'm going to pause my video. You can come right back. All right, guys, definitely take a break. Close your eyes. Woosa. I'm going to get some, some calming videos on here for y'all because I know you'll be stressing. So explain three. We're moving. We're moving. We're specifying rotation angles. So now it's like, okay, well, there's been a rotation. What happened? Um, and if you're charting orbits and you want to know how far along we are, that's very important information. Space is low-key. I mean, not even low-key. High-key. Super cool. Um, okay, so we started here. This was our pre-image. Started from the bottom and then rotated up there. This is your center of rotation. And we are going to go counterclockwise. Correct. Uh, so draw segments from the center of rotation to a vertex and to the image. So let's just say I did A. So I'm trying to make it straight. It's very hard to make it straight on here. Let me try. That's not straight. Um, measure the angle. So again, protractor it. Online protractor it. I'm not a fan of them. I'm almost boycotting harder than I should be because it would make this easier. But it's my prerogative right now. So this is an 80 degree angle. The rotation would be 80 degree clockwise. It's really not that hard. So looking at this one, well, it's definitely less than 90 degrees. Um, it's, I'd say that, if I had to guess, I'd say it's like 70, but who knows, right? You'd, be, you'd have to check it, you'd have to measure it. Um, oh, it's the same one, I'm tripping. Why was I letting myself get confused there? That's 80 degrees. Don't mind that. All right, scrolling. So in this situation, I'll set up how to set it up. You know, you draw a line from a vertice to the pre-image of the image. And I'd go from Q to P. You could do R or S, but why? That's more challenging. And then you go to Q prime. That's an obtuse rubber goose angle. Um, and if you measured it, you get 135 degrees. So therefore, you rotated. Now this one's a little tricky, right? Because we're asking, did you go clockwise or counterclockwise? Well, tick tock, time wizard, Yu-Gi-Oh. Clockwise is to the right. Counterclockwise is to the left. Now you can technically go either way. It just does the math. But we want to, we want to write the rotation from zero to. Um, 360 degrees. We don't want to really write that as like, oh, well, you went 540 degrees. Because if you went 540 degrees clockwise, you could say you went 180 degrees counterclockwise. That might have, but you'll be alright. Um, does it matter which points you choose when you draw segments from the center of rotation to points of the primitive image? No. Uh, it's just got to be corresponding. And like I was getting at, um, a rotation in one direction is equal to a different number angle rotation in the other direction. So for example, a 90 degree rotation in one direction would be equivalent of 270 in the other. Big brain. Big brain, big bank tank, little bank. This one, let's do, what if I did my K's or my N's? I think I want to do N's. N and prime. So smaller than 90 degrees, not a right angle. I'd protractor it, but I can tell you, 70 degrees. 
which way, which way? Well, from here, if it was counterclockwise, that'd be going way, it'd be a big opened up angle to small angle. So therefore it is going this way, which is C dub clockwise, clockwise. All right. Um, let's see, can I give you guys any facts here real quick? If you are given a figure, and this is really where you probably want to pause and slow me down, because you can change the speed um, to make sure that you understand what I'm saying. A center of rotation and an angle of rotation. So three things. What steps can you use to draw the image of the figure under the rotation? So, for example, you could draw the segment from the center of rotation, so the point, like P, right, to one of the vertexes on the figure. And then you can use your protractor to draw the ray that forms the angle that is equal to the angle of rotation, whatever that's given to you. Use a ruler, right? Or, you know, use your digital tools. I prefer that you use digital tools. Um, and mark the point along the ray so that PA prime equals PA if you're looking at, you know, the figure A to P. Repeat the process so you get all the vertices plotted. Connect the dots. Um, I think that sounds worse than it is, right? Um, so 14. Counterclockwise rotation, 90 degrees. What would the rule be? Well, you got to know the rules. So we know if we normally have an X, Y, that in this case, it would be negative Y, X. That's the rule. Use the rule. Plot the points. Uh, given a line segment, um, all right, we're not talking about that. All right, let's take a look at the homework real quick. And again, guys, where I want you to go to play with this, Desmos. Desmos is amazing. D E S M O S, Desmos. Um, Alberto, we got some rotations in different directions. We've got drawing of the figures under the given rotation, which was coming back to the EQ, which we're going to go back to. Some quadrilaterals, which I think are just like Frankenstein rectangles. Um, angle of rotation, direction of rotation. So I'm highlighting these. I'm going to probably have you guys do most of these because they seem pretty simple. We've got some geometry software. We're making predictions, which is super duper, super duper important. Um, rotation. Ferris wheels. Ferris wheels stay fairs. One of the biggest ones. I think it might be the biggest one I've ever been on. Um, if you're into like illustrator animation, that's a relevant question. Some other stuff, some other stuff. Again, pause, rewind, check what you need. Other stuff, other stuff, and boom, boom, boom. All right, let's go back to the EQ together. So hopefully you guys, that this lesson was informative. Um, you enjoyed the little clips I'm dropping in to show you what rotation is. You're going to Desmos to play because I honestly, I think that's the only way you learn is doing things on your own. Um, and again, if you haven't hit that like button yet, let's make that happen. Hit that subscribe button. So how do you draw the image of a figure under rotation? Here's a, here's an answer. It's not the answer. You, I hope that you have your own answer. You to draw the figure under rotation, um, of let's say M, M degrees, M degrees around point P, uh, choose the vertex of the figure. For example, vertex A, then you're going to draw. So, you know, as we're doing this, right? You have an image or a pre-image of a figure. You have a point. You have some angle measure, whether that's 50 degrees or 90 degrees or whatever. And then you, you know, you make the the angle, you plot the point, bam bam. But we're gonna mostly not do paper stuff. You're going to understand rotations and be able to do it on software, and we'll be good. So, that's all for me today, guys. Um, rotations are, they matter. I'd say translations and reflections are a little more, a little more matter, um, I guess we'll say. So, I think this video got long on me. Um, check it out. Let me know what questions you have. We're going to keep rolling for transformations, and we got our three rigid motions that we've learned so far. And, yeah, that's it, guys. I'll see you later.